Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can start up your weight loss journey. Um, so for me personally, I'm still on my own weight loss journey at the moment. Uh, roughly four months ago now, I weighed about three stone heavier than what I currently am. Um, so I have done pretty well and I've been pretty successful with my weight loss journey. I found a love for the gym. Um, I love weight training now. Still hate cardio, but doesn't everyone to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to basically show you and tell you the key steps that you need to take in order to begin a weight loss journey and hopefully stay on track. So keep watching. <laughs> Point then is to find out what your BMR is. So your BMR stands for basal metabolic rate. Um, basically this is the rate at which you burn calories at rest. So if I was to sit on my little sofa all day and do nothing, um, my BMR would be 1400-ish. I'm not too sure, I can't really remember the exact number, but that's what it would be. Um, so yeah, so the first thing that you need to do is to calculate your BMR. Um, without knowing this, you're obviously not going to know the threshold that you need to meet in order to begin losing weight, um, or accurately anyway. Um, if you're currently eating maybe 3,000 calories, decreasing that calorie intake by anything will help you lose weight, just because your body is so used to that. So the way that you can go about calculating your BMR then is by googling a BMR calculator. There's plenty online, I've seen loads, I did double check this before I'm telling you. Um, and basically the calculators use different formulas, so I think there's two different types and they will give you obviously a different number, but the variation between the two numbers is not going to be much. Um, it'll be like a 30 calorie difference, if that. Um, Basically, they'll ask you for your height, your weight, and your um, gender, and also your activity level, um, and you will go from that. So if you're highly active, obviously your calorie intake is going to be higher, and if you're not active at all, then it's going to be lower. Um, so yeah, once you've found that out, then you can take step two, which is to download my fitness pal. Now, I'm clearly not sponsored, I've got hardly any subscribers at this point but I do love this app and um, I've used it since the beginning like I've been trying to do this weight loss journey for a good four years now girl and only finally am I just being successful however I've always used my I've always used my fitness pal and um, so it's such a good app you basically can scan any foods that you eat on your phone um, and it will add it in, track how many grams that you've eaten, you can change it, adjust it to however much you've eaten, um, and it will calculate the calories based off of what you put in there. Um, it's usually pretty accurate, sometimes there'll be some things you know it'll pick up on and it will pick the wrong food or the wrong brand, etc, etc, but for the most part it's pretty accurate um, and you can always check whatever it is that you're eating, you can turn the package around and see the nutritional um, information on the back and compare it with what my fitness pal is telling you is correct. So um, yeah, so in order to obviously put in what you're eating and how much of what you're eating, um, you will need step three, which is to buy some food scales. So I've got a little food scale at the moment. It is back there. Um, in fact, let me just show you. So this is my little food scale. You literally put the bowl on or put your plate on, whatever, press on zero and you can weigh everything that way. Um, what I do is I actually measure things out. I see how many calories are in the food um, before I decide to eat it. So it all ends up fitting at the end of the day within my calorie limit. Um, right now, obviously with us being in quarantine, it is a struggle. We're all in a struggle bus. Um, so I'm not actually exercising at the moment because I'm so used to lifting heavy weight, I'm kind of a bit lost in terms of the whole home workout situation. Um, it just seems pretty pointless to me. I feel like regardless of if I do a few you know, home workouts, I'm gonna lose the muscle mass. So, but that's a whole other video. Um, so yeah, food scales, 
weigh it all out it would be you know as accurate as possible if you can weigh it and then put it into the my fitness pal app um and then you'll be as close to or pretty much exact in terms of your weight loss and your weight gain um so yeah that's step number three so step number four then is to remember 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 do not lose weight too fast now I know from personal experience that it is super tempting to just go all out and go in like a 800 calorie deficit so you lose as much weight as possible in the shortest amount of time possible but this is possibly the worst thing that you can do not only are you more likely to fail at the weight loss diet or the journey because you've simply made yourself that hungry that you've had to cave and eat everything in your cupboards um, either that or in the future when you go back to eating normally your metabolism is going to be super duper rubbish because you've slowed it down that much um, and essentially the effects that your body goes through when you're losing weight they do not actually go back to normal for quite a while afterwards so when you start eating normally again um, in from such a drastic difference you're more likely to gain the weight back and more um, so yeah I wouldn't do that if I were you um, there's also the point that it makes it so much harder for you in future because everyone hits a plateau or for the most part everyone hits a plateau um, in their weight loss at some point so when you're in a deficit your body begins to lower the metabolism because your body no longer requires as much energy to survive the less you weigh the lower your metabolism will be um, and so therefore that's why smaller people tend to have lower metabolisms um, and the only way for you to increase this really by uh, while still staying lean is by weight training because the more muscle mass that you have the more energy your body uses to keep that muscle mass there um, that's all a very complex situation but essentially um, the smaller you get and the less you weigh the lower your metabolism will be or the slower it will be um, so you need to bear that in mind that at some point you're going to be small enough and no longer be in a deficit because if you're heavier and your BMI is 1800 when you lose whatever weight you, you wanted to lose from being in that deficit your BMR might now be 1,400 like mine um, and then you're going to be like oh well why am I not losing weight I'm still eating only you know 1,400 calories so you're at maintenance now so you're no longer going to be losing weight and you're going to be like what I'm still working so hard I'm still eating so little blah 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 yeah that's because you need to go lower you need to go even lower to continue losing weight um, until obviously you reach a point where you're happy at your body fat percentage uh, so then you're going to need to lower it to 1200 so then what if you go all in at the beginning you're on 1800 BMR and you decrease by 800 calories so then your BMR then becomes 1000 so then what do you do you're gonna have to lower it now eating any less than a thousand calories is pretty stupid uh, your body will go in starvation mode as they refer to it um, and it will cling on to whatever energy it possibly can so do bear that in mind um, and eventually as well if you do go back to eating normally because no one is ever going to sustain a less than a thousand calorie diet it's not possible um, if you do go back to eating more or eating normally you will gain weight and you will gain more back than what you have lost so yeah that's the reason why i'm saying not to lose weight too fast i know it's tempting but don't do it just do it either the the recommended amount is 0.5 to 1 percent of body fat and um, of your body weight sorry a week so if you're i don't know 300 pounds then three pounds a week yeah three pounds a week will be good to go um and just do it like that do it slowly but surely um and just make sure that you're not doing it too quickly so my last tip then is to see it on a weekly basis so this is one of my tips in the way of trying to maintain um 
your weight loss because I know how difficult it can be to begin a weight loss journey and try and stay on track. Um, whereas if you see it on a weekly basis, this makes it a lot easier because if you have one bad day, then that's only one day out of seven that is has been a bad day um, and therefore it's less likely to put you off and think oh well I've ruined one day now so I may as well just not do it whereas if you think oh I've ruined one day but I've still got six days to come back from this then you're more likely to stay on track from that think of it as though for example I've gotten some numbers written down here um, so imagine you burn 1700 calories on a daily basis that is your BMR um, without exercise so then across the week if you burn 1700 a day you're burning 11,900 across the, the seven days out of the week um, now if you didn't already know 3,500 calories are a pound of fat so if you cut out 3,500 calories out of your weekly expenditure then you will lose a pound of fat a week which is about right, I'd say one pound of fat is a decent amount. Um, I wouldn't try and go any higher than that. Um, so essentially by doing this, you can either cut out the 3,500 off of your BMR or you can exercise 500 calories a day. So you can do some high intensity cardio, you can do some LISS, which is uh, low intensity steady state cardio. Um, whatever floats your boat you can do it and burn around 500 calories um and this will help you to lose that extra pound of fat a week while still eating exactly the same um obviously if you want to do it the way with no exercise then you can just cut it off your weekly expenditure so imagine we're going to do it the no exercise way so you burn in 1700 a day 11,900 a week and then if you minus off the 3,500, you would have to eat 8,400 across the course of a week. So that leaves you then with around 1,200 calories to eat each day throughout the week. So maybe some days then, for example, you're not as hungry as others. So one day, oh, oops, I only ate 800 calories today. My bad, I'll do better tomorrow. So 800 calories then. That leaves you with 400 calories for the next day to add on to that. So then on the next day, you could eat, if you felt like eating a takeaway, you could eat 1,700, no, 1,600, sorry, calories worth of food in that day. So like I say, you can splurge, you can eat that cupcake, you can eat that brownie, you can eat that whatever it is that you want um, because you've got the extra 400 calories from the day before to make up. We've already worked it out that 1,200 calories is the total you'd need to eat for weight loss. So adding these calories back to the end of the week is not going to make you gain weight. You will still be losing the weight. Make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I don't really... I'm not really too great at explaining things, to be quite honest. But hopefully that made a little bit of sense for you. Um, and essentially what I'm saying is work out your BMR, try to minus the calories off. It does not have to be 3,500. That is only if you wanted to lose a pound of fat a week. If you wanna lose half a pound of fat a week, then half of that will do you just fine. Um, take it slow, do it minimally, because at the end of the day, the more pressure that you put on yourself and the more restrictive you are, the more likely you are to binge and the more likely you are to go back to your old ways of eating bad and drinking rubbish stuff like sugary fizzy drinks and eating all the cakes instead of just one and eating the whole chocolate bar instead of just a few pieces. Um, it becomes a lot easier to eat in moderation when you take it slow and you don't go all out, balls to the wall, fucking starving yourself so hopefully yeah. this was of some benefit to you um and fingers crossed you can get your weight loss journey started with success just take it slow take it steady and i wish you the best of luck give it a like a subscribe a comment if you feel like and hopefully i'll see you in the next video Bye.